race two of the BMW IBS F two man bobsleigh World Cup. We're in the venue for the 1992 Winter Olympic Games in Albeville, La Plaine in France. We're in the shadow of Mont Blanc and this tight, twisty track. You can see winding its way down this very narrow valley in the shadow of Mont Blanc. And it is deep and even here in the middle of the winter. Season doesn't start officially till next weekend for visitors, but our season is already well underway in the bobsleigh calendar. Well, it's been three years since we last raced here in the World Cup. So what's facing our athletes? Well, 1,500 metres of sinuous ice, 19 turns in 1,500 metres. As you can see from the diagram, it's not quiet. Long, flat start. This will really help the endurance runners rather than the short burst sprinters. Oscar's Melbardis Dalman Dreskins with the start record of 5.73. Corner one, corner two, very gentle, easy to bleed off speed. Exit of three, got to keep it straight down to turn four. 180 degrees, leads you back under yourself, pretty much. Down towards a little kink at five. And then corner six, another big 180 degree turn. Seven into eight, this transition here, really tough. Very easy to be bounced around into nine. And corner 10, and then 11 and corner 12. Big double pressure turn, building speed fast here. Lower labyrinth, 13, 14, and then 15, a long right hander. And from here, double pressure, or double corner really, almost three pressures in 16. And then out of 17, through 18, you start to go uphill now towards corner 19, uphill through 19, and still heading uphill towards the finish. And there is the line after corner 19 and 1500 meters. While well, the all-time track record was not set this century. Christoph Langen and Thomas Platzer set it in December 1998. Hansi Lochner won our first race of the season. That was in Beijing three weeks ago. Francesco Friedrich took the silver. Mickey Vogt took the bronze. And in fact, that was pretty much the way they lined up in the World Championship as well back in February. Well, all three of them are in the field. There is Johannes Lochner. He also won the four-man race in Beijing, so he leads both World Cup titles. From that man, the multiple world champion, World Cup champion, Olympic champion, Francesco Friedrich. Well, Friedrich has won in a two-man sled every time he's come here. Not in every race, but every time he's been here, he has won at least once. So two Europa Cup races, he took a gold and a silver. Two World Cup races, he's had gold. We've got a 50, I beg your pardon, a 19 field sled here this weekend. Mihai Tentea will make uh, the first trip down. And then we have joining us Frank Del Duca. He did not go to Beijing. And also, uh, Miki, uh, Mihai Tentea did not go to Beijing. Also joining us who didn't go to Beijing, we've got a rookie driver from Poland, Radoslav Sobczyk, and four others. Mihai Tentea with Georg Irnash behind him. Get us underway here in La Plan, First European race of the two-man season. They get away with a 6.13, the start record is 5.73. Unlikely to see that challenged immediately. And it might be under threat today. 24-year-old Tentea has his birthday on New Year's Eve. Brakeman George Jordash making his two-man World Cup debut just 20 years of age. He has had four four-man World Cup starts in last year's races. And for Mihai, this is his 26th race. The majority of his races, in fact, have been in the Eagles and Segulda. It's just the way the season has worked, particularly with COVID. 122.8, decent speed down at the bottom. We see speeds up to 125. And this long final sector across the line, 59.82. OK, so that gives us a bit of a benchmark. All-time record is 58-68. And there's Ever chatting to Francesco Friedrich the other day about the records. They are targeting those as well as the medals. Well, not the most syndicated start from the duo. 
Yodash on the back handles a little bit of uh, trouble with his right arm getting it all synchronized. Two seventh place finishes, the best results for Mihai Tente. A big day already for Romania on this track because his teammate, Andrea Grecu, claimed a bronze medal in the Women's Monobob World Cup, her first in Monobob. Next up, Frankie Del Duca, sixth race driving, three more as a brakeman before that, the 32-year-old. Hakim Abdul Sabur, 36 years old. He had his birthday on Thursday this week, so bon anniversaire, as they say here. This is his 20th two-man World Cup start on the brakes. This duo had two two-man wins in Lake Placid in November. 6.08, it's a good, strong start. Man Mountain, Hakeem on the back of the sled. There's a lot of Abdul Sabur to be fitting in there. I'm not saying he's carrying a lot of extra weight, but boy, he's a big unit. 500s ahead at the start, they're adding to that. I'm really impressed with Frank Del Duca's maiden season last year. I only saw him in five World Cup starts, but I thought he performed really well. And he had a couple of years of driving experience. And of course, predominantly in North America, better speed at the bottom than Mihai Tentea, 21 to 27 hundreds in front. Clean down at the bottom. Sleds look like they're a little easier to handle than the monobobs were. They're much more skittish, 59.37. There you go, Brian Scheimer liking that. Like that matches up well with training times. Hey guys, thanks for watching back home. Appreciate the support. Uh, oh, big man Hakeem looks like he's in a lot of discomfort there. With this many turns and a lot of them at high speed, a big loop like that, it does put a lot of G force through the brakeman. Of course, they're bent double. And that's why they spend so much time limbering up and stretching. Frank Del Duca with the early lead in the first of our two heats. Race two of the two-man World Cup. I mean, it's breathless stuff here. We're 1,800 metres above sea level, so maybe Hakeem's just really struggling with the lactic. Let's see what we get now from Sun Kai-chi of China, his 10th World Cup race. Chen Heng behind him, 25-year-old brakeman, 27-year-old driver, the brakeman in only his fifth two-man World Cup. And of course, don't forget, through the COVID period, the Chinese were locked down at home, could not travel, so they missed two whole seasons of races in terms of European experience. Did give them experience of their home track for the Olympic Games. But that doesn't help you much when you're out and about. 6.13. Sun finished in 11th place in Beijing. That's his World Cup best result so far. Long way from home ice here. Very sparse knowledge of this track for most of our Chinese athletes. They weren't here in 2020, the last World Cup race. They haven't had much time on the ice this season either. 3100s back from only 500s behind at the start. So you can see that he's reacting rather than predicting necessarily where the sled's going to go. And he is going to struggle. He will be in the second heat. There's 20 go through, there's only 19 sleds. But Sun Kai Chi turns his head to uh, chat to Chen to get on the brakes. Chen Heng behind him. Brings the bus into the station just a, a fraction early. And his minutes having to run down to give them a hand. So 60.23 the run. Oh, just a little tag there in the 7 8 transition. Brought it hard down out of 7, little too hard. He was eager to make that transition onto 8, but in fact, tapped the wall on the exit of seven, on the inside. Oh, a very early exit. 
Fang Del Duca, Mihai Tenteo, Sun Kai Chi done and down for the first heat. Next up, Mickey Vogt of Switzerland, 42nd World Cup race. And this is a special track for him. This is where he earned his first ever World Cup medal with a bronze in February 2020. Sandra Mickel, his 30th two-man start. So big day for both these guys. Back to the scene of Mickey Vogt's first ever senior medal. 5.97 getaway. Bronze medalists together in the World Championships in Samaritz in February. Again, big red letter day for these guys to win a World Championship medal on your home track. Huge stuff. And these duo practically inseparable since Sandra Mikkel started competing in Koenigsegg back in 2019. They've done almost every single race together. 1500s up, second best speed, gaps coming down to Del Duca. Del Duca was flying at the bottom. 1500s, he's limiting the damage now. Mickey Vogt should have enough to take the lead. 124.4, good speed at the bottom. Cross the line by 1100s, 59.26. Big day for Swiss bobsledding this morning as well. In the monobob, Melanie Hassler took the silver medal. That again, her first. World Cup medal in monobob. She's had a bronze in the women's bobsleigh, but had not had a mono medal up to this stage. Her best results were fourth. In fact, the entire monobob podium was comprised of first-time medalists, and we had a driver who won on her very first start, Keisha Love, from the USA. Well, good synchronised load. These two are very good together. Chris Woolley wouldn't put up with anything less than perfection. Already working through notes on the run. Francesco Friedrich, our Olympic champion, two-time Olympic two-man, two-time Olympic four-man champion, not the world champion in two-man. That's Johannes Lochner. Didn't win in Beijing either. That was Johannes Lochner. Torsten Margis racing here in La Plania for the first time, as far as I'm aware, in the two-man. As I said, Friedrich has never visited this track without winning at least one two-man race. So he won here in 2020, won the last World Cup before that in 2015, and in a double Europe Cup weekend, took a silver and then a gold. So he's never left the two-man track, or never left the track of the two-man without a gold medal. But he's behind Mickey Vogt. 400s back at the start, 800s back now. One last time here with Alex Schuller. Still in the red. Gap's grown to a tenth. Only the fourth best speed. Here's the fourth sled down. He's slower than Sun Kai Chi. No, he's not. He's quicker than Sun Kai Chi, but slower than Mihai Tentea of Romania. Head right down, just looking to one side at the peak of the cow. Across the line, a quarter of a second back. To leave you to digest that. Two World Cup gold medals in two World Cup races here over uh, now an eight year span. Francesco Friedrich, Torsten Margis started 6.01. Let's take a look here. A little tap under the camera. I think there might just about have been. Big corner 16. High on that second pressure as well. Maybe cutting a bit much ice, trying to keep the speed alive. Well, he will know. He's third at the moment behind Frank Del Duca and Mickey Vogt. Never mind behind Mickey Vogt, behind Frank Del Duca. That's a great first run from Del Duca. Now then, Patrick Baumgartner, what a start to the silver to the season he had. Silver medalist in Beijing, beaten only by the world champion in two-man, uh, in four-man rather, Hansi Lochner, had Francesco Friedrich behind him. I don't care if it was only a three-sled field in Beijing, that's still one hell of a result for Patrick Baumgartner. Let's see what he can do here. 36th World Cup race, when he came here, in 2020, he finished in 18th place. 
And he's had that sort of 15 to 20 position in a lot of races. Is this the year where it all finally starts to click? Well, at the moment, it's not. He's dropping away behind Friedrich. And as we know, Friedrich is only third fastest at the moment. So he is fourth on the splits, fourth best speed. Have we seen a fresh spritz at lunchtime benefiting the first couple of sleds and not the remainder? Mihai Tente in fourth at the moment, but at the line, Frank uh, Patrick Baumgart is 300s behind him. Giovanni Murasano there chatting with uh, his fellow coach, Annie Mahata. Saw him out at dinner yesterday evening, just down the road from where we're staying. High spirits. Not before it was, in fact, with Hansi Lochner. Well, Baumgartner with work to do in the second heat. And that little tag there, and then the subsequent skid up to 19, all taking speed out of the sled. So maybe Patazzo there with words of advice at the bottom. Sergio Folador next up, ninth World Cup start in two man for him. His birthday weekend in Beijing saw him finish in 17th place. And another driver who made their debut here. His driving debut here was in January 2020. Greg Jones behind him, now 30. Eighth two-man World Cup race, but Greg Jones' is first time on the backhand as a two-man sled since December 2021. So he's been doing exclusively four-man since then. I have to say, if you'd asked me that, I would never have guessed. 6.13 start. and quiet at the top. I wonder if the boys were watching the monobob race this morning while they're doing their sled prep. Certainly with Melanie Hasler in a tight top seven. She was seventh, 15 hundredths off the lead. There was something to look for, but the top four were covered by 300. So you would sort of think, OK, she's probably not going to get a medal. Oh, boy, <laughs> were we really wrong? Four tenths back, top four run. Good looking run from Cedric Follador. Mickey Vogt, the leader for Switzerland, fourth Cedric Follador. Exactly half a second back. But in the top four, ahead of Mihai Tentea. And ahead of Patrick Baumgartner. So, best results in the World Cup has been a ninth play, pair of ninth place finishes in Whistler and last time out in Beijing for Cedric Follador. If he has a good second run, he could be on an all-time World Cup best today. That'll be for later. The third of our Swiss drivers is Seaman Friedley, now 32. Sixth in Yang Ching with Luca Roli. He's got Andy Haas behind him. Andreas Haas has his birthday the day before Christmas Eve. A lot of late year birthdays among our athletes. 14th two man World Cup start for Andy Haas. 41st for Seaman Friedley, who's 27th as a driver. And they get away in a 6.03. That's a tenth of a second quicker than Cedric Follador, who currently lies in fourth place. This has all the potential to be a top three run. Frank Del Duca, second fastest off a 6.08. The Swiss lead of Melly Hasler was running well this morning. Mickey Vogt leads. Cedric Follador fourth. Could we get three Swiss leads in the top five? Again, big looping in that double pressure corner 10. Out of 12, his fast little switch back, 13, 14, corner 15. Big take on onto 15. Only the seventh best speed, but he's top four at the moment. That is going to bleed away, though, down at the bottom. Sixth place at the line, maybe fifth place. 
Although he is still shown as fourth on the splits, it is just behind Cedric Follador. Three Swiss leads in the top five. 200s ahead of Mihai Tentea. 400s behind Cedric Follador. Well, hello, hello. I think at this stage, I'm uh, contractually obliged to say, uh, Hub Schweitz. Or well, for Seaman Friedli, Hob Suisse, perhaps. Again in 16, it, it's effectively two corners nailed together. The two more than 45 degree corner, uh, more than 90 degree corners with a, a tiny little sort of fallow patch in the middle. Whoever designed that definitely has a warped sense of humor. Time is over. Well, next up is Marcus Trichel of Austria celebrating his 50th two-man World Cup start this afternoon. Started his sliding career in Luge, as everybody does in Innsbruck, because they will start when they're still in primary school. Sasha Stepan behind him, 25 years of age, only his third two-man World Cup and his first two-man World Cup start outside Sid Goulder. 6.02, that's a good start as well. Third best start. That's what Marcus Treichel needs. We know he can drive. We know that Wolfgang Stamfer, the Austrian coach, is a real sled whisperer. And having that get up and go at the start, lots of giddy up, really makes a difference. But it's kind of wild at the moment. A lot of height in some of these turns. Trying to let it fly. He's in fourth place at the moment. How's the speed? Well, a little down on the fastest, but only a nudge. 122.7 to 123.9 of Frankie Del Duca. That's where Del Duca found his speed. Down in that sort of middle sector. And then down at the bottom, across the line, top four ahead of the Swiss. Yes! Fourth place ahead of the I'm this Wolfgang Stamper. I'm loving this season. And I also love the fact that this track, unlike next week where we're, we're in Eagles, where everybody that's where they start, where almost everybody starts to drive. This track, last race here was 2000. The race before that was 2015. So there's nobody who's got real in-depth knowledge of it in the field. And that opens up all sorts of possibilities for errors. And that starts to jumble up the mix. I mean, here's your top seven at the moment. Mickey Vogt of Switzerland, Frank Del Duca, Francesco Frugic, Marcus Treichel ahead of Cedric Follador, Seaman Friedli, and Mihai Tentea. So what's Johannes Lochner got for us? With Georg Fleischhauer behind him. Fleischhauer, the former 400 meter hurdler. They were winners in Beijing. They are the World and World Cup champions. Hansi in his 59th two-man World Cup race. Gail Fleischhauer, six races in two-man, six gold medals. And this is starting to become a thing now that we daren't mention, is that they have never failed to win together. 5.91. They were 1,800s away from the all-time start record, which dates back 12 years. The all-time track record dates back a quarter of a century. And if anybody's going to beat Christoph Langen, I think he'd probably be happiest if it was a fellow Bavarian. And that might be Hansi Lochner. The track record, 58-68. We're not going to be there yet, but we might get there, maybe, with a bit of luck in the following win in the second heat. He's got a tiny a margin in hand over Mickey Vogt, and it's enough. It is just to take the lead, 59-2-3. Good Lord. <laughs> this is going to be fun in the second heat, isn't it? 300. Don't forget, in the Monobob race this morning, we had the first four sleds covered by 300s, the first three covered by 200s. And the winner came from 1500s back. Anything could yet happen. Well, not the cleanest drive from Hansi Lochner either, but he has 
found that mojo where with the extra speed at the start, he can let it fly, just let the sled have its head, be loose, and just place it where you think it to where you want it to go. Jakobs Kalenda for Latvia now, and he's got 26-year-old Ivo Kleinberg behind him. Ivo making his ninth two-man World Cup start. Jakobs only his seventh, the former rower, has also got six four-man World Cup starts under his belt. He made his debut in January this year. Didn't do the North American leg. Oh, and a tap on the right-hand wall. And all of that vital start speed wiped off. 6.09 was the getaway. Might as well have been a 6.19 or maybe even a 6.29. By the time they get down the bottom, little meander there not helping either. The corner six, ooh, rocking through seven and eight. Right late off seven. Oh, and again, skid and a tap. And again, a tap. No experience on this track at Jakob's Kalenda. And he's just trying to feel his way down, making as few errors as possible. The timing's not right, and there are lots of skids off the turns. Steer's not quite in the right place. 60.63. So four tenths behind Sun Kai Chi, who is in 10th place. And for the Latvian, as well probably as for a number of our lesser experienced drivers, it's get done, get down, and get onto Eagles where you know a bit better. And there the brakeman launches in. Oh dear. All sorts to analyze there from their high performance director in that start video. Runners off the ground is less than ideal. Hansi Lochner leads after our first 11 sleds. Li Chenzhen of China is making his 17th two man World Cup appearance. 27 years of age, made his debut in December 2019 in Lake Placid. Chinese drivers learned their craft on the North American tracks. And at that stage, of course, that also included Calgary. Wu Chinsi behind him, just 25, seventh two-man World Cup start for Wu. Race with Sun Kai Chi all the way through the Winter Games. And then was moved on to Lee's team. 6.06 is the getaway. And like Sun Kai Chi, very limited knowledge of this track only from the last couple of weeks. Little tap, little skids, down into six. Then the eight nine transition, pretty brutal. Out of 10, rubs the wall into 11. Big corner 15, sets him up for 16. Keeping it as level as he can, trying to keep an even keel so he can pick his exit, but a skid there off 17 into 18. And now out of corner 19. Is he going to be ahead of his teammate? Yes, he is indeed. 59.99. Nearly a quarter of a second in front of Sun Kai Chi. Believe more start time 606. And uh, for the first. Uh, That's a good effort from Lee Chun Chan. We can see a few late exits again. That lack of knowledge just means it's so hard to get the timing right. This is not like a sprint or a track race where all the tracks are the same shape. All of our tracks are very different shapes. For Latvia now, our 13th starter, Emils Tupoulis, and it is his 13th World Cup two-man start. 51st two-man World Cup start for 30-year-old Bregman, Mats Miknes. Two gold, nine silver and nine bronzes in his career with Oscars Kubermanis. 
They came close in Segulda to a medal as well. First time for Emil Tsipoulis in February of this year. They finished fourth, just a few hundreds out of the top three. Thirty-two hundreds back. Should still be a top ten run. Hovering around Mihai Tentea, Patrick Baumgartner. That'll be familiar territory. If he can tidy it up down the bottom. Slipping away to 10th on the overall rankings. Eleventh place now between Li and Sun of China. 12th best speed, 12th at the line, no, 11th at the line, ahead of Sun. 400s behind Li Chunjian. So 60.03 of a 603's fifth fastest start. Nothing wrong with that. But again, lack of familiarity. Again, you see him allowing the sled, to, very different to, from what we saw to Lee Chun-Jan. He's allowing the sled to go up and down as gravity takes it or as the centrifugal forces take it. A little bit of a late exit and a flop there off 16. First of all, two debutants, Radoslav Sobczyk of Poland, 25 years of age, just 11 Europa Cup races and two junior world championships since he first started racing in November 2021, so just two years ago. And 20-year-old brakeman, brakeman Severin Sosna. He's had nine two-man Europa Cup starts and raced with Radoslav in both those Junior World Championships in the last couple of years. 6.19, great to see Poland with a team back in men's bobsleigh in the World Cup. Race here, uh, racing in the monobob this morning as well for Poland. So the Polish bobsleigh program starting to come back together. Matus Luti was our last regular World Cup pilot for Poland. That was a, a whole Olympic quad and more ago. Great to see young drivers coming back from some of the nations that have got a story past. Oh, big hit and a, a really big skid, eight to nine. He was trying to whip it from eight to nine, but just brought it down far too early. Hit the wall on the inside. And a long skid, Brakeman's got his head up. He's not sure where he is, he's lost count. There are 19 corners, very easy to lose count. 61.33. Well, they will know that there is plenty to do, but they have made their World Cup debut. Little tap and a skid gets pushed away there. And the uh, 789 Labyrinth was pretty <laughs> brutalized. Look at this, hits the short wall on the inside, big skid. The take on there is just like a takeoff ramp on a, an aircraft carrier or something. They fly up the track. Brakeman's got his head up. The long, quiet straight from 18 to 19. He thought they were at the finish line, but well, they weren't quite. A little bit more experience in terms of sliding. Dominic Dvorak in the Czech Republic. 51st start as a two-man driver. He had a couple on breaks as well with the Czech 100-meter record holder, Dominic Zaleski, behind him. And in fact, Dominic Dvorak's got history on this track. His second ever bobsleigh race as a brakeman was here in 2012, 11 years ago. So he's been here a couple of times, but only a couple. 6.10 at the start, let's see what they've got now. Both of these are extremely fast men across the ground. Dominic Dvorak in the pre-Olympic season 21-22 ended up third place in the overall rankings, uh, in the two-man rankings. His best results though, 
have been top four in fourth place finishes, has yet to stand on a podium. This is not the run that's going to do it for him. If he can keep it clean at the bottom and avoid taps like that, then he may be in the top 10. Another tap there, 18 to 19, not going to help. It's going to be around Emil Tsipoulis. No, he's behind Sun Kai Chi by 100th in 30th position. It's going to be quite some battle outside the top half, does it? See the way that the sleds get whipped around. If the timing's not spot on on some of these corners, they've come and gone before the sleds even got to them. Oh. So, Dominic Dvorak, Dominic Zaleski, but it is Hansi Lok, Mickey Vogt, and Frank Del Duca, the top three. Oh boy. So now then, first race of the season for a number of these drivers who didn't go to Beijing. Dominic Dvorak is among them. Mattia Variola here also among them. Mattia, his 29th two-man race, nine of them on the brakes. 28-year-old Fabio Batti behind him making his two-man World Cup debut. And they get away in 6.05. You can see why he's on the back of the sled, can't you? So Fabio's had just five four-man races, including three in Altenburg, one of which Mattia bounced them all on their heads, and two in Eagles. So he will know where he's going next week, but for the brakeman, this is very unfamiliar territory. Not familiar either for Mattia Variola. Hasn't raced here before. His first World Cup drive, or his first drive, was in Koenigsegg in January 2020. He raced World Cup here in February 2020. He was not in that field. Dominic Dvorak, who preceded him, was finished sixth. Dvorak in that race. Where are we here? Fourteenth place, right with Dvorak. Not quite right with Mattia Variola. Sixteen hundreds behind Dominic Dvorak, but that's not a bad run from Mattia. Mattia Variola with newcomer Fabio Batti. Relative newcomer, making his two-man World Cup debut anyway, on the back of the sled. Helping them to the seventh fastest start. Long skid there, though, as they come past the inlet for the luge start, the uh, women's luge start. And again, tap and a skid just nudging you away, taking speed out of the sled. 16 down, and we get to the brothers, Amor Adam, the 22-year-old driver, junior world champion in men's two-man bobsleigh, and his 30-year-old brother, Isam. This is Adam's second World Cup race. His first with his brother. They raced together in the World Cup in Segulda. Then they race together in the World Championships. Finished fourth in single, the tied with Brad Hall. And Issam Amour has been in and out of the German team over a number of seasons. Took a silver back in Altenburg 2021, breaking for Christoph Half, with whom he spent most of his career. Half didn't make the World Cup team at the start of the season, but Adam Amour did. This is a very good looking run. Second fastest start, 596. They are still firmly in the top eight. Speed's not quite there though, only 11th best speed. But he'll, he'll challenge Seaman Friedley at the line. How close is he going to be? Seventh or eighth place at the moment. Speed just ebbing away. Ninth of the line behind or tied with Patrick Baumgartner. Three hundreds behind Mihai Tentea, five hundreds behind Seaman Friedley, nine hundreds behind Cedric Follador in sixth. There's a target.
Your sled pretty low all the way through, just allowing it to climb a little at the end of the curve. And here, this is the exit from 18 to 19. Just has to bring it back over to the driver's left. So Adam Amor, there he is. Older brother Isam never stopped believing, although he was out of the German team more often than he was in. Two to go, Adam Debesh, seventh two-man World Cup race for him. And a second two-man World Cup start for Mikhail Dobesh on the back. The two unrelated. Mikhail made his debut in Altenburg in January in the two-man. Last year was Adam Dobesh's World Cup maiden season. Finished 15th in the World Championships at the end of it. He's had two 10th place finishes. That's his best result so far in his career. In six races in the World Cup last year. Didn't do the first race in Whistler. Came to Park City, missed Lake Placid, and then did the rest of the European Tour. Fourth best start, 6.01. I mean, that is fantastic starting. He's got another year or two of driving experience under his belt. That starting performance is going to really come into its own. At the moment, the speed's not there, as you can see, dropping away. He's again, one of those drivers in the field who's having to react rather than predict what the sled is doing. And he's going to be across the line ahead of Jakob's calendar. And 1,700s behind Mattia Variola. Accentuate the positives. They didn't crash. They got down pretty decently. And they've got a rocking start. 6.01, fourth best start. And this is a long, long start. This really exposes the short sprint. So Michal, Michal was almost... Uh, Adam was almost in turn one before Michal was in the sled there. So, boy, he's got some legs on him, that guy. There's yeah. Dominic Dvorak, Dominic Zaleski, there to help their buddies. And finally, World Cup debut as a driver for Boris Vau. He missed the final day of training. He had a 41-degree fever. Antoine Rieu, vastly more experienced. This is his second two-man World Cup start. And Boris Vau raced here in 2020 with Rudy Rinaldi in the back of the Monaco sled. They finished in eighth place. This is his two-man driving debut, Boris Vau. So he might have been feeling like death warmed up. But he's getting out there and doing it, making his debut here. And they're on a tough track. This is a nice looking drive. Second fastest start. He's fourth on the splits at the moment. Well, that start will get you a long way. Top six run from Boris Mann right now. He's halfway through the run. This is exceptional stuff for a man who could not get out of bed two days ago. This is going to be a top ten run on his World Cup debut. This is not a thin field. This has got all the big names in it. Speed's not great, but it's going to be, oh, just outside the 10 at the bottom, 59.92. Honestly, I think probably the last thing he wanted to do a couple of days ago was get out in the freezing cold and into a sled. But that has been worth the effort. 5.94, he was in the top six halfway down the run. And it really only started to slip away from him below turn 12. Second fastest start, 5.94. That is big starting from this Monegas crew. So Boris Van, we knew he had power behind Rudy Rinaldi. He was the go-to guy. Yeah, he's still not looking 100%, is he? And Antoine behind him. What a monstrous pair they are. Well, they may not have the fastest start. That goes to Hansi Lochner and Georg Fleischhauer. And they combine that with some great drive lines. Lochner with experience in his track, taking the lead after the first heat. 
The last time we were here, Francesco Friedrich and Alexander Schuller won it from Oscars Kubermanis and Mats Miknis with Mickey Vogt and Michael in third place. But at the moment, it's Lochner and Fleischauer from Vogt and Michael with Frank Del Duca and Kareem Abdul Sabor in a strong third place ahead of Francesco Friedrich and Torsten Margis. Whatever you do, Frank Del Duca, do not look in your mirrors because Friedrich will be looming. But it's a great opportunity to, for Frankie Del Duca to claim a podium for himself, and it would be the first two man podium for the USA since Cody Bascu took bronze in Lake Placid in November 2017. Cody had a four man podium more recently, but it's been a while in the two man game. Well, there we go. First heat done and dusted. You can see who comes out with the medals in our second and final heat of the two-man. That will be at 1,500 local, 1,400 GMT, 1,100 Eastern, and that will be in just under 45 minutes from now. Till then, from the IBSF TV crew in La Plan, Martin Haven saying thank you for joining us. We'll see you then.